hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome today i'm gonna show you how to make punkaso punkaso is very popular in the northern part of nigeria it can be eaten as a snack or a meal it is very delicious and also very easy to make to make this punkaso i'm gonna be using two types of flour I will be using one and a half cups of whole wheat flour and half a cup of all-purpose flour. And the other ingredients are sugar, yeast, salt and warm water. So to the bowl, I'm going to add the wheat flour, the all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of sugar, half of a tablespoon of yeast, half a teaspoon of salt so i am using fast acting yeast that's why i did not proof it first i'm just gonna mix everything together before i start adding the water gradually so i'm starting with two cups of warm water i'm gonna add it in gradually and i'm gonna tell you how much i used so if this is your first time on my channel or you're a returning viewer and you are not yet subscribed to my channel Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you can get an alert whenever I post a video, like and share the video, thank you and God bless you. Whenever I'm mixing a wet dough, I prefer to use my hand because it is easier for me to know when I reach the right consistency. The right consistency would be a little bit thicker than a regular puff puff dough if you add too much water it is gonna be problematic when you're trying to fry it i also like to beat it a little bit to create some gluten let me use this opportunity to send a very special shout out to all those that have subscribed you guys are the best i love you thank you and god bless you you can also follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. Thank you. So this is my desired consistency. And I'm going to leave the measurement for you in the description box. So I'm going to cover it and put it in a warm place to proof for about one hour. So in total, I used one and a half cups of warm water. You could use more or less. It depends on how your flour was stored so it is the consistency that really matters when it is almost time to bring out the dough i like to heat up my oil so that when it comes out it is ready for frying the dough has been proofing for about 60 minutes it is time to fry it so i'm just gonna deflate it the oil has been heating up for a while so I'm going to check with a skewer, once it bubbles, you know it is ready. The most challenging part of making punkaso is the technique used in frying it. After washing your hands properly, make sure you have a bowl of water close by to dip your hand in because you're going to be making the donut shape with your hand and you don't want it to stick to your hand while you are doing it. This is how you make the donut shape, grab some dough make a hole with your fingers and lower it into the oil i'm gonna repeat it several times so that you get a hang of it i'm not gonna lie to you it requires some practice to be very good at it but i'm still gonna show you another technique of doing it if this is very hard for you remember when i told you guys that you shouldn't add too much water when you are mixing the dough because it's gonna be problematic when you're frying it when it is too loose, it is harder to make the donut shape, which makes it very difficult to handle. So I'm going to let them fry on one side for about 2-3 to three minutes, then flip them to the other side and continue to fry it that way, flipping back and forth until they are golden brown. You can fry them to your desired shade of golden brown. You can make it lighter or darker. Okay. 
when i'm done frying the first batch i'm just gonna repeat the same process until i'm done In case the first technique was a little bit challenging for you, let me show you an easier way to do it. So I'm gonna be using the back of a spoon. So the first thing you do, make sure you wet it so that the dough doesn't stick to it. Then grab a piece of dough, spread it on the spoon like so. Then make sure you make a hole in the middle like a doughnut. Then lower it into the oil. Wasn't that easy? That is how it is done traditionally. They use the back of a calabash to make the donut shape and lower it into the oil. This technique is actually very easy and safe because you're not gonna burn your finger when you try to drop the dough into the oil and you don't need a lot of practice to be able to do this. If you like what you see, please like and share the video and if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you. So the punkaso is ready. When your punkaso is ready, you can enjoy your punkaso with me and Toshe or sugar or honey, whatever you prefer. Since I don't have me and Toshe, I'm gonna enjoy mine with sugar. You can sprinkle the sugar directly over it, but I'm going to put mine in a bag with a quarter cup of sugar and shake it so that the punkaso is evenly coated. I have always loved my punkaso with sugar. Even when we were in the boarding school, we would sneak out our punkaso from the dining hall so that we can go eat it with sugar. In case you are health conscious or you don't like sugar, you can use honey it is perfect it is delicious look at this yummilicious punkaso don't you want some this punkaso is so delicious crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside let me help you guys taste it let us listen to the sound of the punkaso in its glory That was really crunchy and very delicious. You need to try it to believe it. You can enjoy it as a meal with me and Toshe or as a snack with sugar. And even during the fasting time, this is an excellent meal. So whenever you want to make your punka, so why don't you give this recipe a try? I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So thank you guys for watching, till I see you next time, stay safe, stay blessed, I love you, bye.